Say you're on a work site and you're set up in the middle here of these, these grid lines. Say you want to use these grid lines and this intersection point as one of your control points to, to use the prism or, or reflect this, hopefully uh, the prism, uh, to set up using that. Or say the intersection of here. So you've got probably two options, again, probably way more. I'll turn, what am I doing here? Um, so if you click the layers button, you've got, this is our first option, you go to layers button, what you can do is click show points. So show points will then show the start point and the end point of every line that was drawn on the CAD file that's now imported onto your drawing. So if you click show points here, it'll load and you'll see here you've got all these points uh, that have loaded on. So this is probably a, a grid line. Oh, so I think that's a line marking. Uh, this will be a grid line. If you want to know if it's a grid line, you can click and hold. It's gonna work. Ah, oh, I've been sketching. Anyway, so this is how you turn on points to the end of each end of each thing. So this is where you can then set out the end of each line. You wouldn't set out the end of each grid line, but anyway, end of each line. This is how you do it. But say you're looking here and you found these grid lines and there's no point at this intersection. How do you do it? Well, I want to set up using this these two grid lines. What you do here is you go from home, sketching app. Then you go down here to this function. So these functions, there's, there's seven functions. Each one of these buttons just changes what's in the toolbox, which has got different tools. So pick which function you want. Try and remember where things are. My framework has them all written there. So you click on that, and then you go into the toolbox and you pick which one you want. So have a play around with it if you want. Um, uh, there's another video, I need to make a video on a simulator so you can do all this without having, without having any kit. You do it completely for free. Look out for that video. Um, so go to point creation, go to toolbox, go to intersection, select the two grid lines. Normally this will be lit up with green. It does now, version 7.5. Now remembers what button you last used, which is great. It's getting a bit annoying. So now you can click the green plus, now you've got a point there. So that's great. But I want to use, I want to make that point now a control point that I use each time I come back to work, come back to the to site. So I can either go here, I'll delete that point. What I'll do is I'll go back to point creation, toolbox, intersection, click those two, two lines. Then I'll go to toolbox, get my face out of the way, and now I can t make it a control point. So that will now what will happen, if I click tick, now I've got a control point here. I could have changed the name of it, so like control point, CP1, control point one to keep it organized. But now if you go to the layer manager, my control point will be here. So I can actually turn that off. And then if I turn everything else off, my control point is organized and it's still there. So really, really useful if you're going to use it multiple times on a, on a site. As you see how it sits on top of the, the circle. So now we'll go back, point creation, intersection, oh, this line. When that pops up, don't get too freaked out. It just means that there's two lines or two elements or two points on top of each other really close to where you've picked. So that's how you do the intersection. I won't do another one. But say you've got a lot of sites, you've got one meter offset off that intersection. Well then you go here, go to function, put points and lines, toolbox, start point. So you're gonna start a point from where you click and where do you wanna draw it to? I wanna do from that intersection, then you got the bearing. If you know the bearing from it, it'll most likely be at 90 degrees. But you've got this wagon wheel. So you can just click here to spin it around Spin around there, click here, what's the distance? One meter, because it'll be one meter offset. So I don't want the green, so they're always trying to create a line for you. For you. Turn the control point on, it's that way, and then I know that it's, so you got spray paint on the ground, it's a Mickey pin, one meter this way, two meters towards that way, um, and two meters that way, and then I also now want it to be a control point. Uh, and what you can do is you also create a code if you wanted to, but that's fine. So now we've got a control point and go to toolbox, delete, delete those other two.